Hi there, Joshua here. Um, yeah, uh, now uh, when I was at school, uh, my math teacher said to me, she said to me, she said, uh, uh, what, what did she say again? Uh, no, she said, uh, how many grams are there? How many grams are there in a kilogram? She said. She said, how many grams are there in a kilogram? I said, uh, just one at the end, look. Um, sorry about that joke. Um, I'm kind of running out of math jokes. So uh, give me a break. Um, right, uh, let's start the lesson. Right, uh, so we're going to be doing, uh, this, this is the second lesson on multiplying and dividing by 10, 100 and 1,000. Um, now, uh, last lesson I showed you how to multiply and divide by 10, 100 and 1,000. And in this lesson we're going to be applying that knowledge to uh, converting measurements uh, from one unit to another unit. Uh, so, for example, going from uh, centimetres to metres, or going from kilograms to grams. Uh, to do that you need to be good at multiplying and dividing by 10, 100 and 1,000. So what we're going to be doing units of measurement today are specifically metric units. Uh, metric units are to do with metres, litres and grams. Uh, metres for length, uh, litres for volume and grams for mass. And uh, metric units are easy to work with because they're all to do with tens, hundreds and thousands. So what I thought we'd do first is I thought we'd uh, fill in this table. Uh, by filling in this table, uh, that'll help us when we do conversions a bit later on. Um, under each measurement word, I've put its abbreviation. So the, the abbreviation for kilometer is km, the abbreviation for meters is m, and so on. Um, so uh, let's start with length. So one kilometer, uh, how many meters is that? Um, well, kilo at the start of a measurement word uh, means a thousand. So uh, a kilometer is literally a thousand meters. Um, so yeah, I'll write that on the side actually, that kilo means a thousand. Kilo at the start of a measurement word means a thousand. Uh, one metre, uh, how many centimetres is that? Uh, well often words that start with cent are to do with a hundred. Uh, so for example, a century is a hundred years. Um, there are a hundred cents in a dollar. And um, yeah, there are a there are hundred centimetres in a metre. Um, now actually, um, centi at the start of a measurement word doesn't mean a hundred. Uh, it means one hundredth. So it actually, it's actually a fraction. It means one hundredth, one hundredth of a whatever. So a centimetre is literally one hundredth of a metre. A hundred times smaller than a metre. Um, right, uh, next one. Uh, one centimetre, how many millimetres is that? Uh, well, well um, you might know this one if you have a ruler, because uh, if you look at a ruler you've got the uh, centimetres, 0, 1, 2 and so on. These are the centimetres, and then in between each centimetre there are 10 uh, millimetres. These, these are very small intervals in between each centimetre, so there are 10 millimetres uh, in a centimetre. Right, let's move on to volume now. Um, so, 1 litre. Uh, how many millilitres is that? Uh, well, often words that start with mil, occasionally words that start with mil, are to do with a thousand. Uh, so, for example, a millennium um, is a thousand years, and a litre is a thousand millilitres. So there are a thousand of them in a litre. Uh, now, milli, uh, just like centi, uh, milli doesn't mean a thousand, it means one thousandth. So again, it's, it has a fraction meaning. So milli means one thousandth of a whatever. So a milliliter is literally uh, one thousandth of a litre, a thousand times smaller than a, than a litre. And also uh, a millimetre is literally one thousandth of a metre. So there are a thousand millimetres uh, in a metre. Right, uh, one litre, uh, how many centilitres is that? Uh, you occasionally hear of centilitres. Um, and as I said earlier, a centi at the start of a measurement word means one hundredth. So a centilitre uh, is literally one hundredth of a litre. A hundred times smaller than a litre, so there are a hundred of them in a litre. So a centilitre is quite small, uh, a milliliter is even smaller than that. Um, right, let's move on to uh, mass. Uh, so one kilogram, uh, how many grams is that? 
Uh, well, kilo, as I said at the start of the measurement word, means a thousand. So a kilogram is literally a thousand grams. So a thousand grams is a kilogram. Uh, one gram, uh, how many milligrams is that? Uh, now, a gram is quite light. Um, it's about the mass of a paper clip. Uh, but a milligram is much, much lighter than that because, uh, as I said earlier, uh, milli at the start of the measurement word means one thousandth. So a milligram is a thousandth of a gram, a thousand times lighter uh, than a gram. So there are a thousand of them in a gram. Uh, finally, one ton. Uh, how many kilograms is that? Uh, well, a ton is quite heavy, uh, and it's actually um, a thousand kilograms. So a ton is a thousand kilograms. Just to give you an idea of how heavy that is, uh, the average mass of, a, of an adult human uh, is about uh, 70 kilograms. So a ton is about 14 or 15 adults, about the same mass as 14 or 15 adults. Uh, right, uh, that's a bit of information there about uh, metric units. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert uh, measurements from one unit to another unit. So I'm going to start by focusing on centimetres and millimetres. Uh, one centimetre is the same as ten millimetres. So how do you convert a measurement from centimetres to millimetres? Well, if one centimetre is ten millimetres, that means that two centimetres is twenty millimetres, and three centimetres is thirty millimetres, and so on. So to convert a length from centimetres to millimetres, you need to multiply it by ten because every centimetre is 10 millimetres. And that also means that to go the other way, to go from millimetres to centimetres, you need to do the opposite of multiplying by 10, uh, which is dividing by 10, because division is the inverse of multiplication. Um, so with that in mind, uh, let's do these conversions. Uh, so let's convert 3.7 centimetres to millimetres. So to go from uh, centimetres to millimetres, uh, you need to multiply by 10, because every centimetre is 10 millimetres. Uh, now, if you remember from last lesson, uh, when you multiply a number by 10, all its digits move one place to the left. So we need to move these digits one place to the left. So if we do that, the 7 is going to move past the decimal point into the units column, and the 3 is going to move up as well into the tens column. So the answer is going to be 37. So 3.7 centimetres is 37 millimetres. 1,245 millimetres, let's change that to centimetres. So uh, to, co to convert from uh, millimetres to centimetres, you need to uh, divide by 10. Uh, because we want to know how many centimetres that is, and every centimetre is 10 millimetres. So we need to divide it by 10. Uh, now when you divide a number by 10, um, all the digits move one place to the right. So uh, we need to move these digits one place to the right. Uh, you can imagine a decimal point here, after the 5, after the units digit. And if you move all the digits down, one place to the right, uh, the 5 is going to move past the decimal point into the tenths column, and the 4 is going to end up where the 5 is, in front of the decimal point. So the answer is going to be 124.5. So 1,245 millimetres um, is 124.5 centimetres. Um, 0 0.63 centimetres, let's change that to millimetres. Uh, so again, to go from centimetres to millimetres, you need to multiply by 10. Uh, so in other words, we need to move all the digits one place to the left. Um, if we do that, uh, the 6 is going to move past the decimal point into the units column, and the 3 is going to move up to where the 6 is. So uh, the answer is going to be 6.3. So 0 0.63 centimetres is the same as 6.3 millimetres. And finally, 5.37 millimetres, let's change that into centimetres. Uh, now, uh, that's actually less than 1 centimetre. So if you remember, a 10 millimetres is a centimetre. Um, and to go from millimetres to centimetres, you need to divide by 10. So we need to divide this number by 10. In other words, move the digits one place to the right. So if you move the digits one place to the right, uh, the 5 is going to move past the decimal point, And the answer is going to be 0 0.537. So 5.37 millimetres is 0 0.537 centimetres. Right, uh, for my next set of conversions, um, I'm going to stick with length and I'm going to focus on metres and centimetres. Uh, so if you remember, uh, one metre uh, is the same as 100 centimetres. Um, so how do you convert from metres to centimetres? Uh, well, if one metre is 100 centimetres, uh, that means that two metres is 200 centimetres, and three metres is 300 centimetres, and so on. So to go from metres to centimetres, you just multiply by 100. 
every meter is 100 centimeters. Uh, and that also means that to go the other way, to go from uh, centimeters to meters, you divide by 100. Um, so uh, bearing that in mind, uh, let's do these conversions. Uh, so 17.3 meters, uh, let's change that to centimeters. So uh, when you go from meters to centimeters, you need to multiply by 100. Now when you multiply a number by 100, its digits move two places to the left. So we need to move these digits two places to the left. So if you move the digits one place to the left, uh, the three will move past the decimal point, and you'd have 173. And then if you move the digits again, uh, there's going to be a zero after the three. So the answer is going to be 1730. So 17.3 metres is 1730 centimetres. Uh, right, um, 1847 centimetres, uh, let's change that into metres. Uh, well, to go from centimetres to metres, you need to divide by 100, because every metre is 100 centimetres, and you want to know how many metres that is. Um, now, when you divide by 100, all the digits move two places to the right. So you can imagine a decimal point after the 7, after the units digit. And if you move all the digits two places to the right, uh, the 4 and the 7 are going to move past the decimal point, uh, but the 1 and the 8 are going to stay in front of the decimal point. So the answer is going to be 18.47. So 1,847 um, centimetres is 18.47 metres. Uh, right, next one, uh, 8,500 metres. Uh, let's change that to centimetres. Uh, when you go from uh, metres to centimetres, you multiply by 100, because every metre is 100 centimetres. So we need to multiply this number by 100. In other words, we need to move the digits uh, two places to the left. Now, if you move the 8 and the 5 two places to the left, there, there are going to be two more zeros in the number. So instead of there being two zeros, there are now going to be four zeros in the number. So the answer is going to be 850,000. Uh, so 8,500 metres is 850,000 uh, centimetres. And finally, 12.5 uh, centimetres. Let's change that to metres. 12.5 uh, well, centimetres is less than a metre, uh, because 100 centimetres make a metre. Um, so, and to uh, convert that into metres, uh, to go from centimetres to metres, you divide by 100. So we need to divide this number by 100. In other words, move the digits uh, two places to the right. Now, if we move these digits two places to the right, um, both the 1 and the 2 are going to move past the decimal point, And the answer is going to be 0 0.125. So 12.5 centimetres is 0 0.125 metres. To finish off, um, I'm going to focus on uh, kilograms and grams. Uh, so um, what, a kilo means a thousand. So one kilogram um, is a thousand grams. So uh, how do you go from kilograms to grams? Well, if one kilogram is a thousand grams, uh, that means that two kilograms is two thousand grams, and three kilograms is three thousand grams, and so on. Uh, so to go from kilograms to grams, uh, you multiply by a thousand. Because every kilogram is a thousand grams. And to go the other way, from grams to kilograms, you divide by a thousand. Um, so with that in mind, uh, let's do these conversions. So the first one, uh, 6.85 kilograms, let's change that to grams. Um, well, to go from kilograms uh, to grams, you need to multiply by a thousand. Uh, now when you multiply a number by a thousand, um, all its digits move three places to the left. So we need to move these digits three places to the left. If you move the digits two places to the left, the 8 and the 5 are going to move past the decimal point, and you'd have 685. And then we need to move the digits one more place to the left, so there's going to be a 0 after the 5. So the answer is going to be um, 6850, 6850, or 6850 grams. 43,200 grams, let's change that to kilograms. Um, so to go from uh, grams to kilograms, you need to divide by a thousand, because we want to know how many kilograms this is, and every kilogram is a thousand grams, so we need to, we need to divide it by a thousand. Uh, now when you divide a number by a thousand, all its digits move three places to the right. So we need to move these digits three places to the right. Again, you can imagine a zero here, 
sorry, I mean a decimal point here of after the zero. Just put a decimal point there. And uh, when you move the digits three places to the right, um, these three digits, the two, the zero, and the zero, are all going to move past the decimal point, and the four and the three are going to remain in front of the decimal point. So the answer is going to be 43.200, uh, which is just 43.2. Um, so 43,200 grams is the same as 43.2 kilograms. Um, 0 0.74 kilograms, uh, let's change that to grams. So to go from kilograms to grams, you need to multiply by 1,000. Uh, in other words, we need to move these digits three places to the left. So if we do that, the seven, if we move the digits two places to the left, uh, the 7 and the 4 are going to move past the decimal point, and you'd have 74. And then we need to move the digits one more place, uh, so there's going to be a zero after the four. Uh, so the answer is going to be 740. So it's going to be 740 grams. And finally, 13.5 uh, grams. Let's change that to kilograms. Um, well, uh, that's actually a lot less than a kilogram. Remember, uh, a thousand grams is a kilogram. Um, to go from uh, grams to kilograms, uh, you need to divide by a thousand. So we need to Divide this number by 1,000, in other words, move the digits three places to the right. Uh, now, if you move the digits two places to the right, uh, the one and the three are going to move past the decimal point, and you'd have 0 0.135, and then you need to move the digits one more place to the right, so there's going to be a zero immediately after the decimal point, so the answer is going to be 0 0.0135. Uh, so 13.5 grams is 0 0.0135 kilograms. Right, so uh, that's the end of the lesson. Um, now, uh, just remember that when you're converting from one unit to another unit, there should always be more of the smaller unit. Uh, so, for example, if you're converting between kilograms and grams, there should always be more grams than kilograms. Grams are a lot, are a lot smaller than kilograms, so there should be a lot more of them. Uh, so that's something to check uh, when you do these sorts of questions. Uh, right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some questions at the end of the video uh, for anyone who wants to practice what we did today. And you can have a go at converting some measurements. Um, I'm also going to put the answers after that, so you can pause the video, have a go at the questions, and then look at the answers in that order. Right, here are the questions. Bye.